Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. There may be times when we need to access the ESXi shell directly from the console. And most of the time this is going to be if we've lost network connection to our ESXi host. You know, maybe we misconfigured something and lost network connection. Or maybe we have a more advanced initial configuration than our very basic configuration options from this direct console user interface allow, something like teaming. Well, then we can use the ESXi shell to either get it back on the network or get it on the network initially. So what we're going to need to do is press F2 and go ahead and log in. And we're going to need to scroll down here to troubleshooting options. Go ahead and hit enter. And I'm going to hit enter to enable the ESXi shell. And we can also scroll down and modify the ESXi shell timeout. Normally it's a good idea. By default the timeout is actually disabled. Uh, I like to set a timeout so that it's not possibly constantly just logged in if I accidentally walk away from it. So go ahead and hit enter. And escape. So now to log into the console, we just hold down Alt and press F1. So I've got Alt held down, press F1, and now we can log in. So I'll go ahead and type in root and my password, and I'm in. So now I can run things like ESX CLI commands. Let's do a minus question mark so we can see the different options down here. Let's say I want to you know, configure my uh, network so ESX CLI space network and if I want to get more help with this particular command let's say I want to configure a NIC or V switch and I would just type it in and and maybe I want to list them out so here I can get more information about the different NICs if they're up the speed duplex all that stuff I couldn't get from you know, the basic, basic configuration commands that the direct console user interface allows for. So we can get pretty advanced here, do a lot of troubleshooting, and this is all from the console. So normally this would be if we don't have, you know, network access. Because otherwise, if we had network access, we could all do all this remotely. If we want to get out of the ESXi shell, we can go ahead and exit. And we're just going to need to press Alt F2. And that brings us back to our direct console user interface with the very simple options.